And there it was, some of the medal performances from Canada's athletes in gymnastic trampoline. Two gold and a bronze for Rosie McLennan, Karen Cobert, and Keegan Sohn, who are all with me here uh, in the studio. And it's so great to see Rosie and Keegan and Karen. Thank you for coming in. And congratulations to all of you. Rosie and Keegan have done something that is incredibly difficult, and that is defended your gold medal performances from Guadalajara four years ago. Put that into words if you can, Keegan. <laughs> well, it was just an amazing feeling, you know, being in front of the home crowd and everything. It felt like uh, anything was possible, so I knew I had a good chance at defending. And uh, just the competition went really well, tried to stay calm, and it was an amazing experience. Isn't that terrific? Well, I'll come back to you in a second. Pass the mic over to Rosie, because we'll talk to Rosie. I met, and uh, we had conversations about a month before the games leading up to check on your training and how things were going. And uh, since that conversation, you had a concussion. Just a little mild yeah, a minor, a minor <laughs> yeah. concussion. So uh, put into words your, your performance, because you had that little tumble or a little glitch there in, in the qualifying yeah. and then laid it all down in the gold medal round. Yeah, the preliminary round wasn't quite what I wanted, but it was yeah. definitely a good learning experience and learning opportunity. So I was able to, I guess, take that experience and changed, I guess, a little bit. So I was more stable in the final and more focused. And it was an absolutely incredible experience. And to be tell in. me about your, your final routine as um, you went through it. It was uh, definitely a good routine. I was very happy. I was very a lot more focused and able to be uh, in the middle of the trampoline and stay on the trampoline. But uh, <laughs> I did the planned routine, and I was really happy with it. Now, Rosie has in her arsenal trip, uh, three triple somersaults and also a triple backflip with full twist. Didn't need those this time. Are you, are you saving those for... Worlds in Rio to come, or, or yeah, I wanted to make sure I was doing a routine that I was comfortable and confident in, and uh, definitely in front of a home crowd, keep it stable, and so that we could uh, get the b best results possible. Well, you sure did. You got well, double, triple, <laughs> anyway, double, you know, two triple summer results. Because so that's pretty amazing as it is. Yeah. Way down the line, pass it to Karen, your friend, your mentor, your co-competitor, bridesmaid at Karen's wedding, <laughs> and now on the podium together, which is exactly what you said. I mean, that was the goal to have both of you on the podium, wasn't it, Karen? Uh, yeah, it was amazing uh, to be in front of a whole crowd and share it together because sometimes I'll hit or she'll hit, and it's great when we can both be on the podium and enjoy that. So that was definitely an amazing night for us. <laughs> You're back in competition at this level. I mean, it's astounding. You shatter your ankle back just in November for the mm -hmm. Worlds. I mean, the fact that you're able to be at the level where you are, that has to be really satisfying. Uh, definitely. Um, I worked so hard to get back after my pregnancy and then to shatter my ankle and have to start from scratch again was um, a huge uh, devastation to me. But I was going to do everything in my power to be here and compete in front of my family and friends and my daughter. And it was a great experience. And I'm so happy that I had that opportunity. And you did get that chance. We were talking in the commercial break. Emily is uh, Karen's daughter and she was there, but she's not yet too. So, you know, <laughs> what's her awareness level of what mom does for a living? <laughs> um, she doesn't quite understand. Stand it. She likes watching me jump, and I showed her my medal, but she was more interested in Patchy, so I gave her the little Patchy That's and was right. happy to win that for her. <laughs> That's terrific stuff, stuffed animal to take home yeah. for Emily. Okay, pass that to Keegan for a second. Back in Guadalajara four years ago, you weren't even supposed to be on the team, were you? <laughs> yeah. to, to explain that story from four years ago. Uh, well, uh... Uh, Jason, who competed at this game as well, Burnett, right. Jason Burnett, yeah, yes. yeah. he uh, ended up uh, getting injured a uh, couple days before, so I got subbed in, showed up. At the last minute. At the last minute. I <laughs> uh, didn't really even know exactly how big the Pan Am Games were for trampoline at the time, and I just kind of came in <laughs> not really knowing what to expect. And I just uh, competed and ended up winning, and it was kind of like a big whirlwind, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. So this time a little bit more planned. Dad was there to share in the celebration because he's your coach. Talk about that, how much it means for father and son to share in a gold medal performance. Uh, well, it means a lot. You know, I've uh, grown up with him my whole life since he's my dad. <laughs> yes. And, uh, <laughs> funny that. <laughs> yes, funny. Uh, spent a lot of time in the gym together, and just we do so much together that uh, sharing a moment like this means just the world. Isn't that wonderful? We saw that after your after your routine and back to Rosie for a final thought you've been in so many ways the face of these games I mean it, with commercial with the companies and endorsements and then carrying the torch and really everybody that were looking there you are you were the <laughs> first of the torch bearers when it when it began the torch rally here at home has that added an element an extra element of not wanting to disappoint pressure because you know you've been 
the woman we've seen leading into these games. I think every athlete goes into a game is wanting to do their best, but definitely wanted to be able to perform my best in front of a home crowd and building the momentum towards these games was really an incredible honor. It was so amazing to be involved right from the get go and uh, to be able to stand up there with Karen and have Keegan do well as well. I think it was a dream come true and we couldn't have uh, asked for any more. Isn't that wonderful? Last <laughs> question, unfortunately, because I could chat with her through the whole day. <laughs> but that is, we remember Rosie as the only gold medalist from London <laughs> in 2012. Based on what you're seeing, not just from your trampoline teammates, but what you've been seeing from Team Canada, 142 medals and counting uh, as far as these Pan Am games go, what's the likelihood that you'll be the only gold medalist come Rio in 2016? I think that uh, Canada has incredible potential to do uh, get, I hope, a lot of gold medals in Rio as well. So Rio, watch out. <laughs> you'll be in the hunt for a repeat there, I'm sure. Congratulations, Rosie. Congratulations, Keegan. Congratulations, Karen. Stay Thank healthy, you. the three of you, <laughs> and we'll look forward to seeing you come Rio time. Thank you. Your uh, medal-winning athletes from Trampoline last night here on CBC News Network. Stay with us. It is day 10 of the Pan Am Games.